Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the EcoFlow Wave 2. This is the predecessor of the EcoFlow Wave, and it is an awesome upgrade from their previous design. The EcoFlow Wave 2 is basically like a mini split that you're accustomed to in your home, where you have a wall unit that the cold air comes out of, or in the wintertime heat, and you have an outside portion. This system is basically the same concept. It's a compact mini split, and it is all in this tiny package and it's powered by a battery, which is super amazing. Um, I've never even heard of this until EcoFlow reached out to me and told me about it. Um, but this product is going to be fantastic when it comes to car camping um, in an emergency situation where we need heat or cooling. This is capable of doing both. And that's such a valuable thing. Now, many people think about EcoFlow as a power station company, but there's so much more than that. With their new lineup, they have the Wave 2, which we're talking about today, the EcoFlow Glacier, which is the first three-in-one uh, portable fridge that does ice in 12 minutes, which is amazing, as well as their EcoFlow Blade, which is a smart lawnmower that is battery powered and can mow your lawn without your presence. Now this machine is very versatile in that it comes with a 110 volt plug. So you can plug this into your home if you need to get AC, if your AC at home is broken maybe, or you wanna cool a space down to a lower temperature and your central AC is not able to keep up. It also has the option of this battery that we have installed here. And that makes it so much more versatile. Now I will mention that the only way you can run the EcoFlow Wave 2 with solar energy is if you have this battery pack installed on the unit. All right, so let's start by showing you the exterior here, a very sleek design. Um, I might add that it's very easy to carry. You have handles on both sides, so it's very ergonomic. Over here on the left side, we have the um, power adapter that takes your battery power to the unit. And then you have your 110 volt supply here if you want to run this with a wall outlet and then your solar will attach right here if you want to charge this while you're using the system with the battery attached. Now over here on the front, this battery pack is also versatile in that it has a USB-C and a USB, so you can charge your devices right here. I love that feature on EcoFlow products. Another thing that people have mentioned is this has a screen that will catch debris. Uh, whereas before they didn't have that, so your coil would end up getting dirty. So that's a nice upgrade. You have adjustable louvers here, and we'll get in how to set this up for heating and cooling. But right now, let's talk about these controls. So very easy to use here. We're just gonna press the power button, and that's going to power up our unit. Then we use this control here to cycle through a fan cooling, which is indicated by a blue light. We go to heating, you'll notice an orange light. And for fan, you'll kind of have a purplish light there. So we're gonna go ahead and set this to cooling. We're gonna drop it down to 70 degrees. As you can see, it's 83 degrees outside. And we'll notice with our decibel meter just how quiet this unit is. All right, so now that we have our solar attached here, You'll notice on our readout that we have a lightning bolt and the batteries going up, signifying that this unit is charging. Now the runtime that it shows right here is not going to be super accurate because when you have this set up in your vehicle or whatever the space is, it's not gonna be running nonstop depending on the space. Um, if it's a huge space and you're running it nonstop, that might be more accurate. But in a small space like this, the unit's going to be cycling Now, as you can see, without the birds chirping or me talking, we were sitting at about 52 decibels. So this is a very quiet machine. And even if you are a very light sleeper, we're going to show you how you can set this up outside. We're actually going to set it up right here, vent it in, and that significantly decreases the noise. But if you're like me, you can sleep in pretty much any conditions. This is not loud enough to keep me awake, so I could keep this in the vehicle. Now I tested this EcoFlow Wave 2 and we were able to get eight and a half hours of runtime out of it. So that's a super great design. Um, typically, it's just when we're sleeping in the vehicle that we want to have heating or cooling, or if we're going camping in a tent, 
Uh, this is a perfect thing for that. And even if uh, we're in an emergency situation where we don't have our AC running at our house, we can run this overnight. We can simultaneously charge it as well. And we can keep that battery powered up so that we can use this for a long time. All right, so while this unit is running, you can tell that there's a lot of heat coming out of this vent right here. So you have a couple of options here. Um, this piece simply clips on and you can vent all of this heat out to one of your windows or alternatively, this is actually waterproof and you can set up your EcoFlow Wave to outside and simply duct the cold air in. So you have options there, uh, but it comes with both of these attachments, a really versatile thing here um, that you can do heat and cool. I love that about the EcoFlow Wave 2. Now, in terms of what this puts out, as you can see, it's 80 degrees outside and we are putting out 44 degree air. So that's a excellent temperature drop. So right now, as you can see, we are in heat mode and we are getting 116 degrees. Really nice hot air coming out of our machine here. We have it set to 86 degrees. Uh, my battery's low. I didn't start this with a full charge, but we did test this and we were able to get eight and a half hours of runtime, which is really astonishing for how compact this battery is. So both in heating and cooling mode, this thing works amazing. It's very quiet and very efficient. So this is one way that you can set up your EcoFlow Wave 2. I have a little tire rack that I use for camping and uh, you can simply let the heat uh, vent out of this one and duct it into your window. You can seal this off with some tape or whatever you might have and this will cool off your space really nicely. So here's what's really cool about this setup. If you have another power station that you want to utilize with this combo and a solar panel, you can run the solar panel to this power station for my demonstration purposes. Uh, this one wasn't fully charged, but you can just use this in a system. So you can continuously power your power bank with the solar panel and as this cycles on and off, it will continue to charge the power station. So really, really versatile system here. I'm super stoked to start using this um, in conjunction with our glacier uh, when we go camping and even in emergency preparedness situations, uh, this is gonna be a really nice thing to have. Well guys, I wouldn't be surprised if these sell out pretty quick. Uh, I think they're gonna be a hot commodity this summer as the temperatures continue to climb. So until June 15th, they are offering a special. So make sure and check out the link in the video description where you'll get a special discount until June 15th on the EcoFlow Wave 2. They also have discounts with some of their other products on their website as well. Now, if you wanna see how amazing the EcoFlow Glacier three-in-one fridge that makes ice in 12 minutes, check out this video right here and we're gonna show you that product. Until next time, you guys be safe. Later.